Hey, Oak Species 7 here. How's everybody doing today? We're back down on our Farming 2013 simulator with the Maple Tree Farm mod. And today we need to do a couple of things. I need to find a water source and we need to actually start to do some farming. Because we're only going to make money if we farm. So here we go. Let's grab our cedar and we're going to do the big field right behind the farm, which I think is number 30. I think we're going to do it up with canola. I don't, uh, don't think I want to run a crop down here that I've got to worry about doing baling and all that stuff. Now I do have a baling wagon down here and I do have a baler down here. But I think those will find their way to the animal farm. Okay, nice job. They didn't quite give you enough room to pull in beside the seed pallets, so you gotta kind of back into them. But that's reasonable, right? Lord knows we've been working on our backing up skills. There we go. And let's fill this up and switch over. Yeah, canola. There we go. Much better. So, I'm hoping that this episode is going to turn out all right. I'm actually doing something a little bit differently. Normally I will um, do my commentary as the video is being recorded and uh, if I'm going to cut anything out like a, a bit of a drive or something I'll usually do that just by simply stopping perhaps and you know restarting or pausing I should say restarting. But I'm thinking that now that I've been putting videos out for six months, I think I have enough videos out there that I can slowly but surely gather some watchers, some people that want to see my videos. And uh, after doing the big transition to the new YouTube, uh, I don't think I'm going to do this side. Because I know with my luck, the cedars can end up catching that harvester. Okay, I think we'll start a good side. But anyway, after transitioning to the new YouTube format um, and doing the little intro commercial and stuff, I realized that, you know, messing around with this editing suite isn't too bad. So I think what I'm going to do, at least I'm going to try this, I try and put a little better quality video. And I'm not talking about end YouTube graphics because you're basically only one way you can get the graphics up above a certain point on YouTube and that's to really up your bitrate when you're recording or when you're rendering actually. and that's fine but the higher the bitrate the longer or the bigger the file and the bigger the file the longer it takes to upload to YouTube um, a half hour video takes me about two and a half hours to three hours to upload that's when my internet's working really right well. If it's an evening or a weekend or any time at all that there's some peak going on, then yeah, not so good. Alright, well, we're up here at the factory, or factory, vehicle sales place. Yeah, I don't think I actually build them here, do I? I just sell them. I'm going to grab my little Lambo and I'm going to take him up to the animal farm. Uh, one to give me a tangible way to get to the animal farm, and this will also give me a chance to see if there's crops up there. Although somehow that would be too easy. Uh, see when we get there. And we're here. Hmm. Okay. Up we go. We'll have a quick look about. So yeah, um. By not only adding the voiceover after I've got the video taken care of, I can actually take parts of the video directly out as opposed to just pausing perhaps. Um, this really helps. Uh, the other thing I can do is I can put transitions between things, like that drive there, you might have noticed a little bit of a transitional effect. Not one of my favorites, I'll probably use something else later, but this entire video is basically an experiment. Thank you so much, any of you watching, for being a part of this. Okay, grass and chaff. Alright, pretty much what you'd expect. 
No sign. Of, ooh, what do we got here? No. Augers with some kind of wheat or possibly straw. Now that trough is for water, I'm pretty sure. What do we got here? No. Okay, this is the pig pen. We have piggies? Ooh, they're charging for the door. Quick, 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 close the doors. Alright. No idea, no idea, no idea. Alright. The animal farms can take a little figure now, so... <laughs> but no, I don't see... Uh, manure bin, okay. No, I don't see a water truck. What do we got there? Wow. Now that is a chicken farm. Smokes. I don't see one for sheep. Huh. Maybe the sheep farm's not up here, I'll have to look. But, uh, uh oh. There's that bandy rooster. So we got like four of them? Oh wait. Oh, there's like six coops back here. My gosh. That's a huge farm. Wow. Oh. Okay. Well, huh. <laughs> oh, and one rooster. Okay. Oh, uh, no worries, buddy. I'm only gonna buy, uh, you know, a thousand chickens per coop. How's that? <laughs> Don't yell at me. Wow. Typical rooster. Lots to say. No sense of humor. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well, as I said, I think that I'm gonna leave this guy up here. Because, one, I don't particularly like it. I'm not sure how well you can hear the sound it makes, but it's... get kind of a high-pitched little sort of afterwine. No, I'm not driving my tractor through the pig barn. Come on. What are you thinking? Close the doors. All the pigs will get out. We don't want three pigs. Well, we want three pigs, we don't want... We want pigs to be free. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's park the tractor. Should be able to do that. Not that uh, yeah, don't park it in the shed. Of course not. It's a freaking Lamborghini. Why would you want to park it under a roof? Uh, I'll tell you. It's just when you think it's hard to get good help. I don't know. I'm not sure like to pull that water. How's this guy? Not a lot, eh? Alright, well, yeah. Keep up plugging away at it there, buddy. Well, um... One place I didn't look, and it's just possible there might be a trough or a fountain, is way the heck down here in this corner by where I parked the gas tanker. And no. Hmm. Alright. Well, considering what a fuss they made about it having the watering mod included. Yeah. Maybe I gotta wait till it rains uh, and it'll pool up? I don't know. Come on. Hmm. Alright, well. I don't see fountains anywhere. How about... Oh, why would I have a manure bin here? That's kind of weird. Huh. I'd just... I suppose maybe they figured you'd bring greenhouses way the heck down here, but there's nowhere to put them. Alright. Uh... No, I was debating taking the, uh, telehandler just because it's so nice and quiet and smooth, but... Uh, the other end of the stick is it's... So... Alright, well, I have to... have to find the water, so... Let's go and check out... Uh, one of these cell places down here. Yeah. See where that means is. Climb in here and go for a drive. Oh, I'm level. Alright, well, this is probably going to take a while, so I'll uh, come back when we've gotten a little closer. And we've gotten a little closer. So, yeah, I definitely don't like that transition. In fact, I will be picking something different in the future. Look, cool on paper. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's that whole uh, Bonanza opening thing. Remember when they said butter with that thing? We should be getting... I'm... That's deceptive. I mean, we were sitting just about right on top of where it says we can offload stuff. But, yeah. 
They really like to wind the roads way the heck back here and around and around and around and you eventually get to where you're going. And it could be... Hmm, if I remember the PDA for Maison or something like that maybe? Huh, we'll have to have a look here. Almost be there. Hmm. Um, that way to the Biogen. No, we'll check out the Biogen next time. I really want to see this other cell point. Because... There's no symbol for water as far as I know. Like, if you look at the other 2013 maps, there's always a... You know, a symbol for eggs and a symbol for wool and... Yeah, the Maison Arms. Oh, Mason's Arms. It's not Maison. Okay. Huh, wonder who Mason is. The uh, farm apparently is based on somewhere in Welsh countryside, so maybe Mason is a, a popular pub around this guy's hometown or something. So, but this should be a cell point around here, because I believe it by... Yeah, there we go, Mason Arms. They'll buy wheat, they'll buy barley, not canola. We got here. No, they will not buy canola, so that we gotta go elsewhere. Alright, hmm, so let's get rid of that, let's see what, yeah, okay, there should be a cell point around here, like somewhere, yeah, we'll get rid of this thing, and, uh, well, I should leave the map up, because I don't know where the heck I am, let's see, but there's the cell point, perfect, and right around the back, there's gonna be a fountain, let's grab a beer, head out, and there's the nothing. Right? Hmm. Picnic tables. Well, can't squeeze water out of a picnic table. And I know I don't have any animals yet, and you don't need water for the crops. So I'm wondering why I'm not worried about it, but it's just everything else seems fairly logically laid out when you think about it. So, um, right down to you'll notice on the uh, the long roads between places. Okay, I've cut a few of them, but not out. There'll be little pullouts. Well, those pullouts occur before and after every um, offshoot or branch of the road. So if you miss the branch, you can actually turn around in one of those pullouts. What do we have here? Post office. Ooh, with an ATM. Let's see how much of a loan we have. And, okay, we've got 50, oh, we could take out $150,000. <laughs> that would work well. And let's face it, it is usually your corner post office where you would accept your loans for hundreds of thousands of dollars and stick them in your coveralls and away you go. Yeah, no, <laughs> I'm afraid that's just not the way it's going to work. So... What else have we got? Surely, surely, there's got to be a water trough. There's got to be a way to get a hold of some kind of moisture in this area. You know? Well, uh... No? Well, a big old swimming pool in your backyard? Nothing, eh? Alright, well... Guess what we're gonna have to do is check out this Waitrose. Because that's also one of our big sell points. Yeah, not even a bowl of water put out for local doggies wandering by, eh? Hmm, how about you? Uh, borrow your garden hose? Hey, buddy. Yeah. Actually, uh, doesn't seem to be anybody around, does there? I haven't noticed any cars, I haven't noticed any people. It's kind of like a creepy ghost town. Hmm. They probably all died of thirst. <laughs> Alright, well... I guess we should go up on the top of the hill here and check out, yeah, let's check out this weight rose, see if they don't happen to have a nice water source already to go for us. And we'll take the tractor up there because we're not going to walk up great big hills when we have a million dollars worth of tractors sitting around useless. Okay, and ooh, all kinds of cell points, what do we got? Uh, hmm. Alright, well, eggs. 
Yeah, and another ATM. This, you can put your money back in the bank. And the phone booth, which of course is Farming Simulator's health oils. That's got to be where you sell wool, because there's no grate to dump anything through. Or it could just be a trigger error. And, ah, oh, that's an actual grate, so I guess that's where you would dump goods. Around the back, I don't know that I'd want to drag a water thing through here, but you know, good thing, because there's no fountain. Nothing. Waste of time. Wow. Oh, horseshoe. Oh. Well, at least we won't be wanting for a shoe. So let's carry on, hop back in our trusty track tour. And... Yeah... Uh, it's just, there's nothing here. I don't get this. I really don't. Hmm. So where to? Where to? Oh, boy. I'll tell you. Just when you'd kind of think that it was all going to work out, it doesn't. Huh. No, oh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, let's go. Don't close the gate. Don't close the gate. There. We go. Huh? Yeah. Onward and upward, and overward and downward, and wherever it is we're going, I don't know. Huh? Yeah. It doesn't help. Alright, well, I suppose if we head off the valley... Yeah, we'd eventually end up down at the actual wilds, you know. Hmm. Alright, well... I'll tell you what, when I'm just about there, we'll get back to you. So, here we go. And we are here. This is... I decided we'd come up to the vehicle place again. I want to, uh, I want to grab something out of here. I want to have one last look because there's a building tucked way off in the back. Well, let's check the dairy first. Okay. Apparently, ah, uh, right here, we have to drag our mint trailer over to there. Anything between the silos? Okay. So we'll take our trailer to there. That'll be good. And then back up around here. Nothing, nothing. Another horseshoe even? Come on. Not a hey. Mm. Alright, well. Huh. Oh, I don't think I've gone past the only thing. Alright, well, let's try this other building. Down at the end. See what sort of surprises it has, because it's a pretty busy looking place. So, and it is gated off, that means it must be valuable or something. Yeah, no. hmm. yeah. Now this is about the ugliest building I've seen on the map, so it's gonna be something wonderful like a water facility, right? Come on. Yeah, kinda dirty and no, it's some sort of bale shredding facility by the look of it. Okay, so I guess if you produce way more barrels than you need, you can sell them there. You can pick up fertilizer, and then you can drive around the nowhere at all, because there's trees. So, hmm. Well, this didn't turn out to be a very good deal either. Huh. What do we have here? A sweet potato pit. Or a potato pit or something. I don't know. There's gonna be some figuring out stuff going on here. Like figuring out not to drive by the gates, but to drive through them. Yeah, this will be a learning process. This, uh, the extra mods that they've added for the feeding and taking care of the animals and the pigs and the water and all of this. Okay. Hmm. 
Now this is a little bit of a money pit, because I don't need three cedars and three cultivators, and two giant plows and three trailers. But I think I will grab one trailer, because that I could use as another trailer, I think. Um, I'll probably sell one of these cedars, one of these cultivators, that big plow, the other trailer, and I think, yeah, way over there, there's another bailing trailer. So I think we'll only need one bale trailer. Unless we use one for sheep world and one for bales. I think actually figured out where the sheep are in here. And I want to have one quick look here to figure out if it has an actual sale point or if you just go to your shop inventory to sell things. Oh, hey, look at that, it does. There we go, good. So we can not only get our extra 10%, we can pick. And what I mean by that, you may notice if you've played this game, if you have two of the same items, like let's say there's plows, um, and I decided, okay, I only need one plow, I'm going to sell the other. You don't really choose which one you're selling, you know? Um... So as soon as I click sell, it might sell the one that's sitting there in the yard. Or it might sell the one that I went through all the hassle of dragging all the way back to my farm and putting into the garage. Huh. And I don't know why that little tractor flashes on the map. So, uh, hmm. so yeah, hard to say. So it's good that it has a sell point. Alright, well you don't want to see this drive, so when I get where I'm going, we'll get back to it. Well, here we go. Let me check out the bio generation. Maple tree division. <laughs> I live in the old town. I drive down the main road on my other town and go past the hill and it's you know, it's all catalyst pulp and paper colored in division. Those uh, town company town signs that we used to see in we actually changed ownership a couple of times and used to so the Western Western Forest Rocks, we had it for a while. And then town was a little bit bigger back. It's uh it's uh kind of Okay, so we don't have this uh, a lot of silent bunkers here. I don't know if they're like this. I don't know if they're not standard facilities. And dry as the bone. Ah. Alright, well, I'm going to go back to the bone. Yeah, we're here, and then we're just going to slide this puppy into the corner, perfect, and you can stop, good, <laughs> alright, move on up, and park you, and I guess we should go and see if our I haven't done his seeding yet. No. Perfect. Damn them driving skills. <laughs> like you couldn't park an empty tractor. Alright, so how are you making out back here, buddy? Look at that. Good job. Good job. What is this? Why did you leave all these lines on the edge? Huh. Of course, you really can't ask him because he's already buggered off back to the Union Hall. Alright, so let's bold this up and put it back where it belongs. Shall we? There we go. Hang in, 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 Oh, well, I hope everybody's enjoying this Let's Play so far. It's been rather confusing, to say the least. Uh, this whole thing with, uh, 
trying this new way of editing my videos and stuff. It's really damn confusing because twice now I've had interruptions at my door and when I made the video I originally did the the fraps thing where I paused between. Um, the problem with that is, is that immediately breaks your video into clips to start with. Yes, I'm still hunting for water hoses. Um, so then you've not only got the transitions you're going to put in afterwards, like the parts that you're going to cut out of the videos, but you've got to sort out the actual video clips that are there. And yeah, it's taking me a little bit to get used to this. Mm. Mm. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm not even sure actually after about the 13 minute mark if I'm even truly recording voice anymore. Nice. Well, let's park this thing. Shall we? And a swing and a miss. Okay. Not so good. Alright, this time. I only parked probably 10,000 vehicles in this game, so here we go. Oh. Oh, I went the wrong way again. Here, let's overcompensate, and it's a swing and a miss. Okay. Not, things are not looking good for our hero. <laughs> Alright, let's just stick it in the barn and get this pain over with. There we go. And unhook. Let's go park you back where you belong. Nice. And with that done, I think we're pretty much at our wrapping out point, so I really hope you guys have enjoyed my second episode of this Farming Simulator 2013 walkthrough with our modded map, Maple Tree Farm, and I'm going to park my gear and head on home. So this has been Species 7, and as always, take care of each other, be good to each other, and uh, well, Ciao for now, folks. <laughs> oh.